Imagine a world where a good game company has made an awful game. Unfortunately, I'm the only person in the world who believes it's awful. But it's an awful game. By the end of this LP, though, you will agree and see why it's an awful game. This is Kirby's Epic Yarn. You guys, this LP, it's going to be a while. It's going to be maybe a short LP, but not a fun one. And before you guys are wondering why I'm doing this game, it's mostly because this game, but... Um, basically why I'm doing this game is I just kind of want to prove a point with this LP as to why I hate this game. And um, a lot of people, when I mention how bad this game is, they usually end up getting comments as of... Um, I thought Kirby's Epic Yarn was a great game. And let's just say that it is not a great game. To anyone out there who knows what's good for them, this is not. I mean, I understand a lot of people like the theme of the game, and the, uh... I know the co-op is really good in this game, but... It's just... Too... Easy, and... I understand that I'm just kind of complaining about a, a thing I shouldn't be complaining about, but... But, uh, this, this, this game is Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. It's too easy. Play with File 2, yes. And it's, it's just the theme. It, I understand Kirby is usually a cute kind of character, but... Oh, my goodness, Nintendo. Welcome How to Dreamland, everybody involved a in this game. Famous for peace and quiet. Peace and quiet, it's my the ass. perfect little land, if you like that sort of thing. I don't Lately, like that sort of little thing. I, the only reason I really played through this game is because it's Kirby, to be honest. Into yarn. It's all for the nostalgia. Right. Yarn. One day, Kirby saw his favorite food, a bright red tomato. Didn't mention the word Max at all. <laughs> Down the hatch. But when Kirby tried to eat it, a caped sorcerer appeared. My what? name is. Hey, what are you doing? Stop that! No! Who wrote this? That's my magic metamato! Kirby gulped the metamato right down. Just then, a white sock around the sorcerer's neck began to glow. Then it sucked Ooh. Kirby up. Did this? How dare you design this, Nintendo? This is a disgrace. This grass feels funny, Kirby thought. It feels like pants. And to pants. Kirby's surprise, he saw that his entire How do you... body was made out you of yarn. You were all the time. How would you know? Then, he saw a yarn monster chasing a back every character boy. in Kirby's usually naked. Somebody help me! What is Nintendo up to? Kirby tried to swallow the monster up. Oh. But the air went right through his body. And you know what? Kirby wondered what Anyone who knows do. what's good for them would usually skip this cutscene, but... Suddenly, I can't make Kirby my points transformed show this into a scene. car. He drove away with the boy and left the monster behind to eat his dust. Apparently, that strange metamato gave Kirby the power to seamlessly transform into a car and who knows what else. Hopefully, a much better game than this. Now, I understand that this is just one little slip and that all the games after this are supposed to be like ten times better. And I believe them. I understand that Nintendo is one of the only companies that actually learns from their mistakes. Um, uh, thanks for saving me. What's that? You say you're from another world? Wow, welcome to Patchland. You just stick with me and I'll show you the ropes. <laughs> I just... <laughs> that wasn't funny at all. But honestly, guys, I've... Yeah, okay, cool. I've known this series since I was a little kid and just... Ah. Oh. What have you done, Nintendo? Really? <sighs> you could at least expect more. Now, thing is, this game has some, uh... Actually, this game, another problem with this game is it's, it's totally unoriginal. They actually stole basically every function in this game 
from Wario Land Shake It. If anyone's played that game, I love you. That's a great game. And anyone could agree with me. Wario Land Shake It is just like this, but it's got a good difficulty level. And it's fun. This game is what is to be considered too easy. Now, first off, let me show you guys a little something here. I bounce off the enemies. No joke. And if you somehow find a way to take damage in this game, you only lose some money. You don't actually die in this game. There's no health bar, if no one's noticed that yet. Usually a health bar to Kirby games. I just failed that horribly. So, basically, this game, you can't die. There's no way of taking any damage. And... Oh. Not to mention, unlike most people, I don't actually like Kirby's voice. It just kind of pisses me off every once in a while. And this is just the voice that pisses me off the most. The one from the cartoon. Or anime, or whatever the fuck you call it. I don't fucking care. Either way, it's just really freaking annoying. Now right here is a treasure chest, just like the treasure chest from Wario Land Shake It. There's a treasure behind him. Except unlike Wario Land Shake It, the one thing that's actually good about this game, you can actually use the treasures. Not saying it's actually a good use, but... Now I understand why a lot of people like this game, and that's probably because it's just a peaceful kind of game. And if you guys don't know what I mean, uh... Come on, face it, every other game in the world, you're just kind of... going crazy. This game is slow and calm, but... Even with that, I'm still not a big fan of this game. It's just... Ah, uh, Nintendo, there's so much more you could have done beside, despite that fact. Like a health bar. For once, I actually think a game is too easy. And I'm usually, you guys know me, I'm a big fan of easy type games I can play easily. Not this. Also, you can walk through here. Notice that these little stitches actually show where the walls are. And, uh, yeah, that's another thing you should notice. Now, you can grab people's weapons. Yeah, it's a function. It's a function. I know, I'm just complaining, but what do you expect from me? This new music plays in Patch Castle. Now, if I'm correct, there's even a speedrun type thing to these levels. Or not. No, 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 and as you can see on top, there's a little bar on top. It's not your health bar. That is actually your money bar thing. And similar to Wario Land Shake It, you'll get a rating from bronze to gold on how much you manage to collect. You also get a streak. I don't know what that's all about. And then treasures. Uh, same as Wario Land. Shake It. You get treasures and you get money. Except unlike Wario Land Shake It, the money was actually a challenge. There's no challenges in this game. So I guess Thanks it's a little help, easier. The blue yarn boy said. <laughs> Everything's I easier. It. I'm Prince Fluff. Who Ever the since Yin -Yarn Fluff the designed that? Land into seven pieces, you just can't go anywhere without running into these horrible... But Fluff was interrupted when they were attacked by a huge three-eyed blob of yarn. Ew, gross, stop it! But before the blob could eat Prince Fluff... I have to Fluff, admit, the one thing is <laughs> this voice actor. Kirby transformed I'm sorry, Nintendo, but you guys, in a most spectacular Nintendo of America fashion. does something. It's Along hilarious. The blob bits, there was a I wonder if Nintendo of written and they have like an accented yarn. dude doing this. That's it. I'm gonna Google That's that now. That's the magic yarn, Fluff exclaimed. Or if, like, what Britain Prince gets the game from America. For. Yin Yarn had stolen the magic yarn from Patchland. And get this, a magic piece of yarn holds the lands together. The How its way dare you? The kingdom and and design worlds like this. Together. That, that, that's not a problem here. What about the other pieces? I've got to find the rest of them. Kirby, always happy to help, decided to help his friend uh, recover the missing pieces. I understand what kind and of approach you're taking in this game. I understand these games are usually supposed to be together. beginner type games, but... Ah, oh, they just too beginner, too be This is almost like a baby game because of that. I was actually kind of embarrassed to play this game. Well, that's also the fact that I'm playing a Kirby game, and if the age I am, but still, come on, let's face it—we never grow up. We always want to relive our childhoods. But really, Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Oh, I need a voice for this guy. Screw it, I'm not even gonna read it. 
not worth it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff for you guys can read it without with, with pausing. That'll work. And uh, if you guys actually want to read that, you can just pause the game. It's not really anything important. He's just telling you that you have an apartment that doesn't actually do anything. So that's good. It doesn't do anything. No joke, it doesn't do anything. You just decorate it. It does nothing. There's no rent. Just saying. Now let me demonstrate, people. You press... You point the remote to the screen. Uh-huh, cool. And look here. You can place stuff. No, there's nothing really that good as of now, because we just, just unlock this. I'm just going to put this... Uh, thing where it belongs. And that is where you put a chair. Little kids now know how decorating things work. It's... Oh my god, shut up, computer. Stop reminding me about things. I don't care. Now you'll notice there's other apartments, buildings. Those will be for later. And I will explain those in a later episode. Now also... These are not here. That's later then. Later episode then I'll explain that. But really, Nintendo, you guys, 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 guys. Look at what you're doing! Although, I do, the, the one reason anyone should really play this game, and honestly, you don't really need to play the game, you can just get on YouTube and do this. But really, the only thing that these games are really, that make these games really worth it, is this, this game is the only good thing about it, and that's really the only good thing about any Nintendo game. Not only, but good thing about Nintendo games is the freaking soundtracks in this game. And let me tell you, they put their work into them. Not this one. This one. I like. I like how it gets a little bit later on, but it's just not my thing. I haven't listened to this freaking song in so long. Oh god. This game feels ancient all of a sudden. I don't know why. No one likes monkeys. Now that guy will actually throw infinite money, so that shows how easy this game is as of now. But come on, no attacks, really? Some of the enemies even fall, like, on their faces after attacking. Let's just get that. Uh, yep, no one's gonna use that. You know that, right, Nintendo? No one. No one! I'm kind of overdoing it now. Well, then again, you can never overdo it. I think what they were trying to do is we're kind of just trying to do like a Wario land shake it kind of thing with different characters. But they didn't do a very good job with that. And I can understand what they were trying to do, but they couldn't do it. Whoa, shit, man. Oh, shit, sure, freaking. Also, this game, you'll figure things out about this game later as you go. But, uh. Make this game seem a little bit more special. Despite the fact it's not really that good, but still. The only thing that's really worth it, it's really fun in this game, is doing that kind of shit. And that's why I love this game. Freaking soundtracks, people. Oh yeah, some things also go back up as you hit them. Doing a very bad job explaining this game. Shake that tree, bitch. That's not a reference to Sherby 64 at all. Oh, I never did do the mini games that LP. I need to get away to do the mini games. Dear Nintendo, if you ever remake your games again, do it properly and add an online mode. Thank you. He's just throwing money to me. He's just freaking throwing money to me. And they're all over the freaking place. That's the thing. That just kind of shows how easy this game is. And I was expecting like a difficulty to happen, but nope. This is like the entire game right here. 
Honestly, you can play the first level and predict the rest of the game. Uh, this game, this game is all about the effects. It's just it's Nintendo trying to be an effects kind of people. And it just wasn't their thing. Oh, Nintendo. You were trying something you know you weren't capable of. And also, this music sounds like Mario Galaxy 2, just saying. I always mention that whenever I play this game. So, like, everybody and anybody and everybody. That they didn't even write any new soundtracks, if you think about it. They just kind of added a little tune to all the ones that already exist. Honestly, uh, it's the end of the episode. So I will see you guys in the next one, where we will just uh, tolerate this game some more. See you then.